Hi guys, welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, so we're going to go on to Frozen Island. Uh, we must uh, stop the vector to save all life, alright. Uh, so as I said before, I wanted to go more towards the lightning bolts, but it looks like I don't even get that much of an option here. Um, and also I really like this shit, so... Uh, let's do this one first, then this one, and then this one... Maybe... Okay, this didn't quite work out the way I had planned it to. We'll start with this one out, so we can at least learn what we're doing without having to go into mi go into any mission. So freeze, uh, freeze, and defend both robots. Rewards. Uh, so I'm supposed to freeze and defend both robots. So let's see. What, what how's the terrain work? So units cannot attack in water. Uh, so it's just normal water. Uh, turns water when uh, turns into water when destroyed must be hit twice. Okay. Uh, this guy is, uh, all other Vec have incoming weapon damage reduced by one. Okay, well, now we kind of wish we had, uh, something a little bit different. This unit is armored. Um, so it's just armored right now. Hardened Carapace. What's this, what's the deal with this guy? It says, launch rockets at all times. Why, why does they freeze and defend both robots? There's a freeze tank right there. Oh, so... They want me to freeze these two bots. Alright, so we're going to move this guy here first. This guy here and this guy here. And there's also still a forest tile. And these are civilian buildings. Because these are my robots. Wait, wait, wait. They're malfunctioning. They're not on my side. Alright, we have a problem here. Okay, well, I guess this is what we use a freezing for. Use frozen, cannot move or attack, and remain frozen until it takes damage. Alright. Uh, yeah, we got... We got problems here. So this guy looks like he's just gonna shoot right through me. So what can I do to deal with him, is the question. He kind of he kind of positions himself in such a way where a piercing beam damage reduced by range. I think he's gonna hit that one no matter what. But and I can't exactly toss him around. I don't think I got many options here actually. I'm just trying. I'm trying to wonder what to do with this. Does he does he get the bon the, the the damage reduction? No, he doesn't. All right. Well, I guess what we're gonna have to do. Uh, what's this guy's damage? He just uh, stabs two tiles in front of him. All right. I think I know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit this guy. Fuck this guy. I think we're just going to accept the fact that he's going to get a hit off. Resisted! Yes, I intended for that. Good, good games. Alright, so now this guy's over here now. We can kill this guy though. Alright. So, we can still freeze this dude. And I think we should, because he's going to do a bunch of damage. But we need to kind of uh, figure out what, how to deal with these guys. Huh. Well, I can kill him in one hit. So let's do that. Let's freeze this guy. And we can basically punch this guy to death. And the last guy, we just need to move him away, Tile. Uh, undo the move. Go over there instead. There you go. That'll do it. So it currently says I can do it, but I, I think I have to defend them both. But now I can start- oh god, it's a fucking- it's a chrysalid. Oh, it jumps! It's got me. Yeah, dude, what the hell. 
Why, why are the chrysalids here? It says, oh, what, uh, what the target preparing to bite it? It just has a leap. Five damage. Okay, these really are chrysalids. All right. Um, I don't think I have a lot of options here. I think I can maybe freeze him. What's, what's this guy's range with his attack? All right, well, we do. We always have the thing to rewind the turn, so let's... Uh... Okay, that's pretty good. All right. I think we have one more turn. Uh, this guy gets a turn. Uh, not much I can do here, so I'm gonna just put him out of out of position here, somewhere. I guess I should have kept the one the ranged ability with him, but it's all good actually. There's not many turns where I can ever say that like uh, I, I don't have enough uh, points here. All right, so this guy is gonna hit that. I mean, that's the easiest game of my life. All right, it looked pretty bad there, but uh, with a bit of luck because of the grid defense, uh, we actually kind of won that. Yeah, they don't get they don't get to do anything. All right. Oh, I can't even really make it to that one, anyways. I think so. Let's do some of these. Uh, kill seven enemies and the uh, thing. Take less than three grid damage. Well, that's easy, because if I take three grid damage, then I'm dead anyways. <laughs> so, easy. Uh, Alright. Uh, so, there's our chrysalid. Alright. Uh, we got our pod now. So... It's starting us off with the bots. Alright, let's have a look here. So, uh, he's got a cannon. So, this guy is trying to free him. This guy is going to try and lead, uh, kill these guys. Alright, I think I have a solution for this, actually. So, Ralph is about to take a massive amount of damage. Um, okay, but I can't really... Wait, I can't move Ralph out of the way. But I can punch this guy away from me. Which may not be the worst idea. Because I don't want this guy near me. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hit this with a cannon shell. We're going to free him on purpose. Because he doesn't really do anything anyways. And we can just shell this guy. Oh, wait, wait. Did, okay, good. I was, I was worried about the pod there. I saw the pod. I'm like, fuck. Well, I have to revert my turn. That, that guy is scary, dude. Chrysalids, man. Alright, what's the purple one doing? I guess, uh, is that the blow up one or is that the redu damage reduction one? Okay, that's the damage reduction one. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this guy. What's the order? So, okay, that guy goes second, so. Alright, I, I have how uh, we're gonna do this. So now he's gonna hit that guy. Because he does a lot of damage. He's very good at uh, killing his own friends, you know? But I think we're gonna have to put him down. Like go old Yeller. Alright. Sorry if you guys like the chrysalid. But he's gotta go. Punch this guy down here. 
So we, we can position them into the water and things like that, but uh, I like the blocking and using them to kill themselves as well. Alright, okay. What the fuck is this guy? Ah, this is a new guy as well. Creates a defensive wall uh, for attacking adjacent tiles. I mean, it's not a hard guy to deal with. Should we, should we blow him up? The answer is yes. Eat shit. <laughs> I was just trying to like the AI on that mech too. Alright, well that's it. So it's just an AI, so it's all good. I just wanted to see how the explosion worked out. It's, it's all good. Alright. Uh, let's see what's in the fancy ass, uh, just reactor core. That's still good though. I actually I have three reactors. Why do I have three reactors? Did I just not use them? Uh, what do we want to use them on? I mean, I would really like to actually give this guy all three. Dude, glass cannon. All right, we gotta do glass cannon. I forget. Is there like some achievements I'm supposed to be going for here? Oh, here we go. Drown three enemies in water in a single battle. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that, but maybe I'll shoot for it. Alright, I think we can definitely handle the high threat now. Uh, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. We can technically go for one more uh, of the energy ones, and that might be actually a good idea instead of just going straight for the central processor. Alright, this guy, this guy, this guy. I'm definitely a one-shot wonder, let me tell you. Alright, so he's gonna defend that guy. Ah. Alright. So we gotta be careful because that guy is artillery, so let's shoot him out of the way. I'm gonna move this guy. Actually, let me undo the move. Let me do this guy's move maybe first, but I don't think it's a good idea. Wait, why does this guy just have one one HP? I mean, I, I like him because he does a lot of damage, but... Huh. I could just knock him over. Wait, what's he doing? Does he attack in all directions? Oh, he does attack on all directions. Alright. I thought he just attacked forward. I didn't realize that's why he was making rocks. Alright, well, it's, uh, it's mistakes were made. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Because what I wanted to do was I wanted to... I wanted to hit this guy in this direction. So he'd kill his, kill his friend then. Fortunately that guy won't be able to get to do anything, but that's okay. So I think, I think abusing this guy to basically kill everybody I hate is a good idea, so, you know. Alright. So these two schmucks look like they're attacking the exact same thing. First things first, I, I need to move these guys out of position. This guy is still going to attack uh, in, in one direction there. I don't think there's... I mean, I could suicide onto them, but that's like adjacent tiles. So I don't think I can even get them to really suicide. I think I think one of them is going to be going down. Let's punch this guy. 
How much damage does he do, too? You know, I'm wondering, could I have maybe moved him over here? What was his order? I maybe actually could have done that. I could have moved him over here. He would have hit, killed that guy. But that's okay. Hindsight is 50-20, uh, whatever. So that would have actually worked out really well. But, ah, oh, resisted, just like I intended. 17%, guys. <laughs> All right. So what's the deal with this guy? This one looks pretty simple to deal with. You just do this. Moves that guy out of the way, kills that guy. All right. Guess I'm just gonna... Actually, this guy doesn't even do anything. I would prefer to block these guys. Actually. Actually, is there... Do they need any damage now? As they, this doesn't even do anything. So... We actually, we're just going to prevent two of them from spawning instead of, uh, instead of killing, finishing these guys up. Actually, I'm supposed to kill these seven enemies, so should still be doable, I hope. I think it is, actually. Maybe not. Alright, we lost. I forgot about the optional. This guy does three damage, so... Oh, we. Oh, I know. What to, oh, I can't explode him because he's not close enough either. Fuck. I literally can't do anything. Actually, I, don't, I can't even stop him from killing this thing, anyways. Yeah. So. Oh, that's a power generator on top of that, too. Oh, I'm so sad right now, actually. I am very sad. Oh, well. It wasn't, wasn't really that bad of a net result anyways. You didn't do anything. We're useless. Grid defense. Grid defense increased by three. Ah, oh, this is the damage resistance. Alright, let's do central processor just because, uh, whatever. Alright, um, we're supposed to defend both robots. Okay. And then there's a shit ton of things here. What? What am I supposed to be fucking, like, Jesus of Into the Breach? And a pot on top of that. Alright, I'm gonna say, I don't think we're doing the, the optional. Wait. He froze himself. Alright, let's see what these bots are doing. He's uh, not affected by his smoke. He deploys a, a single mine. Oh, they're mine layers, so I just have to send them back onto the tiles they came from. Okay. So that's interesting. Uh, let's see here. Just trying to debate how to deal with some of these guys. I, mean, I can shoot this guy in one hit, but yeah, actually it's no, but he'll be knocked back, so can't do that. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not really concerned about this guy. Let's concern ourselves with a finishing off this guy, but you see, the knockback will kill him, so that's a problem. Uh. I, I don't know if it. Okay, let's see the order here. All right, if I move him back here, he will kill him. So if I do that, it will work. So there you go. That guy's in the line of danger now. Now we all we have to do is move this guy away. Or move him into the, into the danger, but I don't think we can even do that. We could punch this guy. Yeah, fuck this guy up. Or actually, we can't. Uh, there's no target available for that, so just punch this guy up. I, I don't. Even, oh, he's gonna actually die because he was on a fire a fire tile. I actually didn't even notice. It, I, like I have to hover on the thing so I can see it. So I think this is actually the best possible outcome. This guy dies. He kills him. I think. Yes, he does. Yeah. 
So the robots are actually really useful here. We just don't get to control them. And they keep freezing each other. So what's the deal with this guy? Move him onto that tile. He's going to try breaking him free. So I don't think we can necessarily do anything about that. So I'd prefer to do things like this. Uh, and if I go onto here, it's going to be... I'm going to get frozen. So... I might just spend that turn getting this guy, the pod, the pod, just to make sure I have that by the end. Uh, do I have... no, I don't have to even heal. Alright, so he set his friend free. Alright. May have to deal with that guy. Alright, looks like they're killing each other, so that's also good. Uh, I would like to make the tank serve the cause. I mean, on it, quite honestly though, it doesn't even look that bad. From my perspective. Because like what? Oh, I take... How much damage is this? One damage? Oh. Let me show you how, guys how much I care. Yeah, because I, I don't want to push him back, so let's just wait here with him. And what we can do is we can freeze this guy. Does that actually, does that disable passive skills? That's the question. And it doesn't. He's still, he's still giving the passive skills. Just something to know for the future. I'm just gonna block that actually. It's a useful thing for him to do. And you can just uh, go heal yourself. Oh, you got me. So yeah, they, they all continue to get the buffs. All they want to do is set their friend free. Well, let me oblige them. Is there anything else I can even do here? Oh, I can kill him. I think that's basically it. It's like, I don't know, heal yourself. That's it, they're all frozen. Alright, so Icy Island isn't so bad. Uh, yeah, we even got the time pod. Picked it up. Uh, rock launcher. Throw a rock at a chosen target. Rock remains as an obstacle. Damage 2. Okay, and then there's a reactor core. Alright, well, we'll look at that in a sec. The fist is really nice too, but... Man, I want to chuck some rocks everywhere. Because that might be nice for blocking it, you know, blocking things like I'm just thinking of the other guy that I had uh, I had issues with. It was like that guy sucked. All right, what else is here? All right, you know what I might do? Uh, it's a one point wonder, but let's get let's get buildings immune. All right, so wrong class, wrong class. So yeah, we would have to you'd have to do you'd have to do something weird with that, but that's okay. That's, we're, we're good with this. Alright, so destroy the Hornet leader. Oh, uh, well, it's weird to say about him. Alright. So now our shit doesn't affect buildings anymore. So what is it, what's the deal with this guy? So he stabs three tiles in a row. Um, he can fly over tiles. And he can walk in water. So, yeah, so the rock thing was actually completely pointless here. Because he's going to be able to hit it no matter what. But luckily, we have the art of repositioning everything. Yeah, there you go, see? Alright, that's a lot of guys. But I think the easiest thing to do would be to do this. 
Oh, shit. What order is that? How much damage does he do, too? You'll kill that guy, but not that guy. But... He might, if I do this. I am the best of video games. Alright. Wow. I'm not even going to pretend like I intended for that to happen, but it was nice. What the hell is this guy trying to do? Oh, he's trying to shell that. That guy's gone. I can just push him back into the water. Talk about drowning your troubles. The one water tile. Alright, get away from the windows. I guess, I guess, you know what, might as well just try and start drowning people for the, for the achievement. Uh, so this guy is gonna be annoying piece of shit, but... I'm trying to debate how to deal with us. I kinda just wanna knock him back into the water. For, you know, achievements. But I, I don't think I'll be able to do much with it. Because this guy is, I have to do, I have to actually deal, I have to, oh wait, wait maybe we can, uh, uh, no, we can't, we can't self-destruct him, fuck. Oh, motherfucker. Alright, so the smart thing to do would be to destroy this rocker and, like, have this guy, like, go somewhere here and, like, do something else. But I want to knock him into water, man. That's, that's what I actually want to do. But we actually can't afford that, so we actually have to do the smart thing. We're just going to have to fuck that objective. Um, so, just debating how to deal with this guy. So this guy, this guy is kind of useless, unfortunately. Um, I don't think there's much I can do with him, really. I'm not even sure if I can get them to to not attack all this stuff. Cause this one will push him sideways, kill the rock and push him up here, but he's not gonna die. I think I'm gonna have to just accept the fact that one of these things is going to take damage. Cause I can't get him out of there. Like I could hit that, but then there's nothing stopping all this stuff. Actually, he, he doesn't even do any damage. What am I, what am I talking about? Alright, what's the order of how this works? Two. How much damage does he do? One. Unfortunately, I will... Okay, I can actually do something here. Uh, do this move. There you go. Oh, there you go. Actually, I could have I could have attacked him now, but that's okay. I'm gonna attack him instead. No, I'm not, because it's gonna deal damage. I'm gonna do nothing. So this guy's gonna hit this guy, and then he's not gonna do anything. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. Wait, he does no damage. Oh, because he's up. That's why. Of course. It actually showed me zero. I was wondering what it meant by that. I had to actually kill this guy. There's no other way. Rip. Alright, let's let's stop fucking around, actually. I mean we can self-destruct ourselves for this guy. Easy. Alright. I don't think we care too much about these uh, non-optional objectives. Uh, let's see here. I need to just take him, make him kind of move away. Can I actually hit him from like right here? I can. Yeah, buddy. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They can't do enough damage anyways to me. 
They can try. Yeah, that that that's certainly a, a, a kind of like a interesting thing about that. I for, I forgot about the the guy that would reduce the damage, and I didn't it didn't occur to me that he would reduce damage to his own guys too, because I mean it's like a thing that happens all the time. Science class weapon, fire beam that freezes everything in the line. Yeah, it's gonna require three power, so probably fuck that. Um, we get we get to swing a, bo a sword. Okay, that seems pretty baller. Plus one use. Yeah, we can easily get that. What, two damage though? That's kind of nice. Alright, so this is Starcraft tanks. We could also stab enemies in a, in a line. I kind of like the sword. Because he pushes them all back. It's actually super cool. Which means we're going to get rid of the rock thing. Alright, let's go to this guy. Yeah, you don't need the rock launcher anymore. Alright, power this up. Can we get one more use out of it? Yeah, we can. Alright, so that's it for our stuff, so he gets a nice blade with him too. Um, I don't think anyone else gets anything particularly good here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the rock. I didn't even use it for that mission, so screw that stuff. And the Vice Fist, we're going to get rid of too. And I'm going to sink the rest into power. Because uh, I didn't do that last time. Um, so, you know, I was sad. Very sad. Alright, well, we've unlocked three islands at our disposal. Uh, in future games, we'll be able to go there. Alright, so, these are nice 30-minute episodes. It just fucking works out. Kind of like uh, FTL, man. Oh, the developers are so good. Oh, thank you. Alright, thanks a lot for tuning in. And uh, we'll finish the last island tomorrow. Take care, goodbye.